A very special edition of OMG Craft where we are building our own computer! Hello everyone and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. Today, this is a very exciting episode because we are checking out a new product called Piper, which they were nice enough to send me over one of their computer kits. This is a basically a build your own computer kit with a Raspberry Pi, screens, you're gonna get to see all of the stuff that's inside of this kit. Uh, it's at playpiper.com for $299, and it's perfect for someone who's uh, you know going through education, STEM education. This has everything to get started so that you can learn what computers are made of. So let's jump in. So the first things first, this box, Kind of has this crafting table motif and the logo animates as you slide it out of the box using these grid lines and some optical illusion technology really really cool stuff now the box itself when you open it up you are greeted doo -doo -doo -doo, with a secret message we're going to get to that in just a second and then you can see all of the stuff you're going to be building starts off with a blueprint and a lot of the gear that you're going to be working with. You got buttons, hinges, a little mouse over here, a circuit board, another circuit board. This is actually a Raspberry Pi. There's a Raspberry Pi logo on it right there. So an actual Raspberry Pi and a battery to run it all underneath the monitor. This has a screen built in you're actually gonna be building a computer. You thought maybe, oh, we're just place, putting a computer together. No, we are building a computer with plexiglass and nice laser cut wood pieces to put it all together. So to get started, we need to read our top secret document that was right on top. So let me take a swing at it. You are about to embark on a very serious mission. Earth is in danger of being hit by a huge asteroid and your job to, is to save the planet. Your first task is to assemble your control station using your blueprints. This is a challenging task, but a fearless adventurer like you should have no problem. Once assembled, decipher the diagrams to connect the correct cables and await further instruction from mission control. So I'm gonna take a swing at putting this computer together and we'll be back after that.
Okay, so I have completed my uh, my Piper computer. There's still an awful lot of extra parts, but the blueprints, which was mission zero, has been done. And let me show you what I made. First, I made this awesome box with kind of a plexiglass top. It uh, includes a whole bunch of in stuff inside, a speaker, battery, the Raspberry Pi, and some things that we haven't really gotten to yet, like this circuit board. And I, so I can see all of the buttons and cables that I still have to work with that. But once I plug it all up, the speaker is turned on, and I push the power button, we start to see the whole contraption come to life there. You can see that's the Raspberry Pi turning on. And then you get a nice little animation about what's going to happen here in the future. I'd assume the next step is to start story mode. This is really cool. Oh my gosh, are we in Minecraft here? There's a giant pizza coming for Earth. Call our Mars rover Piperbot immediately. But Commander, we sent him there 50 years ago. He might not be functional. We have to try. That's humanity's only hope. Calling Mars rover Piperbot. We need you to check the status of the incoming object. Urgent. Calling Mars rover Piperbot. We need you to check the status of the incoming object. This is an emergency. Please respond immediately. Wake up, wake up, Piperbot! Mission Control is calling! Wake up! Okay, okay. I'm awake. I'm awake, Pip. Looks like I need to check the telescope to see what's coming towards Earth. But it looks like the telescope is broken. It looks like all the wires that power the telescope are rusted over. We need to fix them. Here, let me help you. You must break the rusty sand blocks in the corners to let current flow freely and replace them with matching blocks. Got it? Let's go! You can move your mouse left to right to change where you're looking. Point your wrench towards the block you want to break and hold down the left mouse button to break it. Scroll through the blocks you have in your inventory by using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Place the matching block in the corner by clicking the right button. Click the middle scroll button to pull up your menu. Hip, hip, now let's go see what that object is and you can go back to sleep, you sleepyhead. Oh no, it looks like an asteroid's coming towards Earth. That's not an asteroid, that's a cheese steroid. Mm. Piperbot, you have to take the spaceship outside to fly to the cheese steroid and stop it. Okay, got it, Commander. Hey, Pip, I can't move a muscle. What? Don't be silly. You don't have muscles. Let me go and fix your control unit, though. Let's fix the control unit so Piperbot can move. Here's the control chip. It's called a Raspberry Pi, and you have one right in front of you. When the Raspberry Pi goes through the fancy schmancy digitizer, you can see that it looks just like the one in front of you, and whatever you build with it is beamed back to me. Now let's add two red wires to the same pins you see here. When you attach them, touch the tips together to let the current flow. When the Raspberry Pi is beamed back through the digitizer, we can install it back inside Paperbot. Touch the wires together to jumpstart the current. You can replay this video to see how it's done. Hyperbot, we have to get past all of your stuff that's blocking. 
stopping us from reaching the spaceship. Let's go! Before we go, we should probably fix all of your controls. Okay, Pip, show me how. If you right-click the crafting table with the wrench, you can open up your control panel and I can go in and do some repairs. Hurry up. Insert a red button and the wires you just attached into the controller like you see here. And once it's firmly in place, press the button three times. Press replay to watch this again. Now anytime you need my help building anything, you can right click the crafting table with the wrench. Now let's build the other buttons to move. Woo -woo. here this was such a fun project to work on and of course you can get it yourself at playpiper.com that link is also in the description below I can't believe how much fun I actually had on this project and I feel like I even learned a few a thing or two from Piper. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like. Make sure you subscribe for more youtube.com slash omgcraft or click the button at the end screen to subscribe. And I will see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.